Good morning. This is Pastor Jason from Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is glorify. Who will not fear you, O Lord, and give glory to your name? Open the eyes of our understanding, Lord. Give us a greater revelation of who you are. Show us great and mighty things about you that we don't know, that we might reverence and respect you, that we might live in the fear of the Lord and glorify you. Now, the way we glorify God is we manifest his character and nature. No small task. It absolutely requires the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. It absolutely requires the miraculous work of the Holy Spirit, the wonder-working power of Almighty God for us to glorify God, the supernatural coming on the natural, changing us into another being, and this is the point. It also takes effort on our part it takes practicing spiritual disciplines. Now, practicing spiritual disciplines put us in position for God to work in our lives, for the Holy Spirit to make those changes in us. If you Google spiritual disciplines, you'll find about a million plus responses. There's so many different ideas on what the spiritual disciplines are, the Christian disciplines. Now, I'm taking a class on discipleship this year, and in the class they talk about spiritual disciplines a lot. Now, here is their interesting list of spiritual disciplines necessary to make disciples. First, worshiping regularly with a covenant of community of saints. Interesting. Serving others through speaking and working in the name of Christ. Hmm. Hearing, reading, and studying scripture confessing sin and prayerfully conversing with God, submitting to authority, practicing silence and solitude. Uh, John Maxwell calls that reflective thinking. Intentionally living a mission that includes helping others become disciples. Now, of course, at Kona Faith Center, our seven pillars are similar, but a church life, community of saints, a word life, hearing, reading, studying scripture, a prayer life, prayerfully conversing with God, a worship life, although I would expand it from just worshiping regularly with the community of believers to a personal worship life, absolutely, a faith life life, a harmonious life, he says, serving with others through speaking and working in the name of Jesus, and a discipled life. And that means intentionally living a mission that includes helping others become disciples. And of course, they uh, practice silence and solitude or reflective thinking. Now, we practice these spiritual disciplines so that we manifest his character and nature more and more. Be clear that the ultimate goal of the Christian life is Christ formed in us, Christ in us, the hope of glory. It takes Jesus being formed in us to glorify God. And the way we do that is we practice spiritual disciplines. And in practicing the spiritual disciplines, we allow the Holy Spirit to form Jesus in us. We represent, we reflect the character and nature of Jesus to those around us. So get out there and glorify God today. The word for today is glorify. God bless. Check in tomorrow.